What I meant by expanding the chain is this right here. If you can make that out or not. You see the center starts and you work your way around. You add more and more. It's not a very good shot. Add an extra ring here and there to get your uh, taper so you'd start at the bottom and as you work your way up you'd add extra in the lines instead of uh, four and one just to make it fit better. It'd be five and one once in a while. And this thing, I must be, I can't remember how, I, how much it weighed, I think it was pushing 70 pounds getting a little bit heavy so I had to stop the tunic at my chest area before it broke my back <laughs> one of the swords not a very good job but And prototype helmet went from cardboard to tin then to steel it's still not finished but you get the idea anyway. and you can see my sleeves are tapered to get them to fit better you see how they're really wide here and then I've actually instead of expanding I worked down and I contract it took away a ring from each from every other whatever until you get it to fit right down and this the chain mail I'm not sure what they call it but I call them chaps but whatever uh, it still has no feet on it but I've made a belt loop through here they're really hard to hold up and you definitely have to have a leather tie just above your calf to hold the weight from pulling, from pulling down on your uh, belt so much because uh, it, this 14 gauge wire is uh, in my opinion, is too heavy. So you had definitely had to tie it, like even uh, above, uh, just below your elbow. You have to tie it too in your forearm to keep the weight off your shoulders, or it tends to dig in too heavy. Now I've used shoestring here, but you should have a leather tie, make it look more appropriate. Anyway, that's about it.